Hey everyone, it's Carrie over at DoubleClick. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I am opening the Merry and Happy Mail that I received over the past couple of weeks. I am so sorry for the delay. I've been outside of my craft room enjoying our Arizona weather and I'm trying to find a good balance between work, craft room, and you know, all those things that we're all trying to balance. Thank you to everyone that was thinking of me and sent me some Happy Mail. I appreciate you guys so much. I did send out Christmas cards this year. Unfortunately, they weren't handmade. I pretty much sent them out to everyone that I know and hopefully everybody received them. What I've done so far is I wrote whoever sent me the happy mail their name on the back of the envelope so that I don't share anybody's addresses by accident. They're in no particular order when I received happy mail. I just put it in this clear bin. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited and appreciative of all of my crafty friends. I'm just gonna fast forward through me opening the envelopes and then I'm gonna go through and open each one individually. I just opened all of the envelopes and let's dig in to see what's inside. Thank you again to everyone that sent me merry mail and was thinking about me this holiday season. Everybody will be linked down below. The first one is Laura from Laura's Plants and Crafts. Let's see what she sent my way. Well, she sent me this really sweet handmade Christmas card. It's so adorable. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Laura, so much. She sent me some of her flat mail. Let's check this out. How nice this is. She sent me some cute ephemera pieces, some tea made in this really cute tag with this Christmas tree clip. Such a great design. On this side, she shared a baggie of ephemera. So sweet. Thank you so much for sharing all of these beautiful pieces with me. I love them. So cool. Thank you. She also shared this, an acetate paper pad with me. That is awesome. I don't have this. Thank you so much for this happy mail. Thank you so much. The next happy mail is from Janet over at Miss J00. She sent me this such pretty Christmas card. I love how it mixes the traditional Christmas colors with the pastel. So pretty. Thank you for that beautiful note, Janet. She also sent me some of her peekaboo tags. She's so talented when it comes to using her craft machines. Adorable. Probably hoard these forever. I don't know if I could ever use them. They're so cute. Thank you, Janet. These are adorable. Thank you so much. I love them. This envelope is from Liana. It's a deal. She decorated the envelope. So cute. She sent this card. Thank you for that note, Liana. She also shared some super cute ephemera pieces with me. That's so sweet. Thank you so so much for all of these. I'm going to put them to good use. These are great sizes to actually make cards with. So cute. Thank you so much, Liana. The next card is Stay Stace cute little snowman and we have this nice slimline card it says jolly is so cute i love it thank you so much and stace also shared these super cute santa stickers Thanks so much for sending me these stickers. I will be sure to put them to good use. And this next one is from Judy from the Scrapbook Loft. She sent this beautiful handmade card. She sent me a sweet note on the inside. Thank you so much, Judy. I love your card. It's beautifully made. Thank you so much. This is from Isabel, the Shabby Hippie. How beautiful this card is. This flower is speckled with some thick glitter. Thank you so much much Isabel. She shared these wax seals and we have this super cute heart and this really pretty rose and she also put little sticky stuff on the back. Thank you so much for those Isabel. Your card is beautiful. This is from Marissa. She's the fun size crafter over on Instagram and she sent this super cute ho 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 card. It's adorable. I love that it has those buttons. Thank you Marissa. She shared some Christmas die cuts. These will come in handy for next holiday season season. 
Thank you so much, Marissa. These are adorable. I love that color. Thank you so much, Marissa. This is from Martha Makes Art. I love that owl. So cute. And he's sitting in his little cup of hot chocolate. Thank you so much, Martha, for that sweet note. And she sent these peacock stickers. Thank you so much. And this is from Lori at Petey Pie. And I got two from Lori. So let's see what these are about. This is actually a thank you note from Lori for joining in on her challenge. Lori, you did not have to send this out to me, but thank you so much. We have these clear stickers. They are so pretty. I love stickers. These are going into my flower collection. Thank you so much for those. Look at this butterfly. She also sent me some holiday stickers. These are adorable. Thank you so much, Lori. I loved entering your challenge. And this one is also from Lori. Let's take a look at what this one is. This is a Christmas card. It's handmade. So pretty, Lori. Thank you so much. I love that tree. Thank you for that note. And she shared some puffy stickers. These are so cute. I love them so much. Thank you so much. This one is from Mary Ellen. She has a super cute holiday washi tape. Mary everything, these cute little gnomies. Thank you so much, Mary Ellen. Thank you so much for this cute gnomi card. I love it so much. Thank you. This one is from Diana Loves Colors. This is so cute. It's the eggnog recipe. She's also thanking me for the cards that I donated for her church fundraiser. Thank you so much, Diana. That was a fun challenge. And we have this beautiful die and this cute little Christmas. Oh, she has snowflake sequins in there. She also sent these super cute stickers. These are great for me to seal up my envelopes with. And this cute little die cut. Lots of cute ephemera on this side. Gingy girl, so cute. Love it. Thank you so much, Diana. Your little folder is adorable. This one is from Mystical Misty. She made this Christmas tree. It's so pretty. Thank you for that note, Misty. And she shared a holiday napkin. This is very pretty. Those flowers are beautiful. And I love that they have the pink and the red. Thank you so much, Misty. This one is from my friend Diana over at DL Art. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. She does sell crinkle ribbon and I will link her Etsy shop down below. She made this holiday card. Thank you so much, Diana. This card is from Maka over at Maka's home. She was able to send her card in a clear sleeve. I didn't know that you could do that. Very cool. She sent this handmade card. What a cute image. I love it. Thank you so much. She wrote me a note on the inside as well as leaving this card blank so that I can reuse it. Thank you so much, Maka. This is from Susan at Susan's Heartstrings. She sent this super cute boss of all the fun Christmas family. So cute. Thank you so much, Susan. She shared these cute Christmas stickers with me. They are adorable. And I didn't pick these up, so thank you so much. They're going to go great in my holiday stash. This next one is from Enos over at Paper Crafting with Enos. She sent one of her hot cocoa cup designs. Wow, that is so super cool. I love how adorable this is. Look at this chunky charm. I have this on my list to learn how to do. This is just so fun. I love it. Thank you so much, Enos. It's stuffed full of goodies. What a great design that is. I love it. This is the pom-pom for his hat. That is so cool. She sent this snowflake. Thank you so much, Enos. I appreciate it so much. Oh, and we have some hot chocolate. I have been drinking this almost every single day. We have some of these stickers. Thank you so much. I love stickers. We have these really pretty epoxy flowers and some more clear stickers. I love stickers so much. Enos, thank you so much for this happy mail. The design is so super cute. I love it. This one is from Maxine over at Maxine Loves Crafts and she made this super cute Christmas card. Look at her cutie snowman. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you, Maxine. Thank you so much, Maxine. That note was so nice. Thank you so much. I feel the same way. This is from Janet K over at Janet K Crafts and Tea. I'm not sure her channel is active right now. Thank you, Janet. I will not be sharing this. This is a personal photo. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you and your husband. 
open. The last but not least is from Gina over at Gina Loves Crafts. Gina sent this super cute Let It Snow card. I love snowmen so much. They're so cute. Thank you so much for that note, Gina. And inside, so cute. So she sent this stamp set along with what it looks like in color. Such a good idea. And look at how cute this is. Put it that way. I don't have this. He's so adorable. Thank you so much, Gina. Thank you to everyone that sent me such wonderful, adorable, and thoughtful merry mail this year. I appreciate your friendship so very much. I know that I am super behind on videos. I am doing my best to catch up and please know that I am I'm trying so hard to find a good balance between my work, my life, my outdoor activities while we are in like the winter in Arizona. Come summertime I'm going to be trapped in my craft room and I will have so much more time to be on YouTube and I just appreciate everyone so much for every Everybody's understanding. Thank you for everyone that has been purchasing and using my dew drops. I love to see the projects and people using them. And I think my favorite thing is when I see people and how they organize their dew drops. I've seen so many cool and unique ways to organize them. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I hope that everyone has an amazing 2024. I'm hoping for a really good 2024. I thank you guys so much for stopping by my craft room. Have a great day. Bye guys.